Newborn screening saved my daughter's life. Um, so I share from the perspective of being super grateful that this is a public health program because these are a lot of invisible conditions that you have no family history of. You would have no way of knowing that this was a possibility for your life, but it could be the thing that saves your child's life. Hi, I'm Susan and I live just outside of Seattle, Washington. And our newborn screening story started pretty typically. I had a really healthy um, pregnancy. Uh, delivered at the hospital at some point must have had that heel prick test done um, didn't hear anything back and then at Indy's two-week well child checkup we her physician mentioned at the end of the appointment we'd need to pop down to the lab to have a second screening done given that I wasn't really interested in a lot of extra testing I'm a pretty natural mama um, I didn't I, I kind of pushed back honestly I kind of said is this really necessary and um, and she said you know unless you have a a, a religious, an ethical, a reason not to do it. It's very, it's very uncommon that anything comes up out of this, but if so, they are treatable, but oftentimes life-threatening conditions. And so thank goodness we did, because that was the blood draw that would reveal Indy had a treatable, life-threatening metabolic disorder that with treatment, she could go on and live a very normal, healthy life, um, but without which the outcome would be very different. So Indy was born and, di and then diagnosed at three weeks with um, maple syrup urine disease. It's a disease that impacts about one in 200,000 people. So it is one of the very rare among the metabolic disorders. Like she looked so healthy and she was doing all the things that babies should do. And I'm a person that tends to believe that everything just works out. And um, so it was, Obviously, it was very shocking to us, um, but everything from that point has been so hopeful. And there was a community that greeted us on the other side, and um, that's what I want to be part of. I want to be part of helping and reassuring people that um, although this may be the life-changing news that you receive, um, there is so much support and there's so much hope in it, and um, it's not 40 years ago, 20 years ago, babies were passing away of these conditions, and some still are, you know? Because the conditions are there. They, you have, it's information that is, um, that's available, and it's going on, and you wouldn't know by looking at your child. Indy never once showed any symptoms. So even when I Googled, even when she was presumably positive, and I lived over four days wondering, does she, does she not? It was out of range, but it's, she hasn't been diagnosed yet. You know, when I looked at the symptoms, she didn't have any of those. And so um, we could have, been in a very different position if that screening wasn't in place to give us the information to start the life-saving uh, treatment that she needs for life.